Kevin Montas. A Twitter question. I think this will be my first Twitter question. <laughs> Um, can Clarinus catch up to the distinctiveness of his EFA charger? And I guess, um, to add to the question, is Clarinus already known globally, or even locally here in the Philippines, such that um, you mentioned that um, to be competitive in terms of getting a job or to be able to employ, um, how does Clarinus uh, program help them? Or is, is this already uh, known globally and locally? Okay, thank you for that question. Now, the answer is simple, it is absolutely globally known. And I think one of the things that has changed for me um, since I was last here is that I wouldn't have said that last time I was here, two years ago, but the, really the pace of uptake has surprised us and, you know, critical businesses, you know, for example, BlackRock, the world's biggest asset manager, uh, uses the program globally. So as soon as you see those kind of changes coming in, that tends to drive knowledge into smaller, lesser well-known firms. Is it well-known in the Philippines? Increasingly, it is well-known amongst the multinationals in the Philippines. It is not necessarily used by all of them. The third part of that question is, will it catch up with the distinctiveness of the CFA program? Now, the answer to that question is no. Uh, in my opinion, and, I, and I'll tell you why. The CFA program delivers two, two pieces of value to an employer. The first is it assures the employer that the person is technically highly skilled and ethical and competent. So it has that value. But every 100 people that start the CFA program enter level one, eight people finish level three. So one of the values of the CFA program is its ability to differentiate between employees. So if I'm interviewing two people, one person has a CFA and the other doesn't, what I know about that one person is that they are willing to invest immense time for a sustained period, three years, four years, for a sustained period and that they are highly self-motivated. And that is a very powerful indicator of that attitude that interviewers are looking for. Now, because Claritas is a 100-hour program and the CFA is a 1,200-hour program, I think that um, they will always have very different distinctivenesses about them. But that does not mean that Claritas isn't a very powerful tool for entering the workplace. Thank you. Um, so, if they are still undecided, um if they want to take you know, a finance group in terms of their career, can they take the Claritas program first and then eventually take the CFA program? Or is it a redundant thing? Um, I, I, in fairness to people here thinking about your money, I would answer that in two ways. If you are certain you want to become an investment professional, if you know that about yourself, then I would do the CFA program. If I didn't have a background in finance, I would do Caritas first to learn the language that I needed to perform in the CFA program. And that is not how we designed the program, I'm just telling you that's how the market is using it. So I've read the, the blogs and the LinkedIn pages numerous times, and that is the advice from people out there using it, saying, if you have a non-finance background and you want to do the CFA, do Caritas first to gain the language. Okay. If you are undecided about what you want to do with your life, then I think Caritas is an excellent option because I think you're going to see the breadth of the investment industry. That was something that was not apparent to me until I started working in investment, you know, broadly in the finance industry. As I say, I have an economics and law background and I'm an English teacher and I worked for many years in the hedge fund business. That kind of surprised me at the time. So guys, I think it's a very good um, opportunity for you to understand and learn more about the Clarinus program. Has anybody um, uh, heard about the Clarinus program before, before this? Can I see a show of hands? Not? Okay, there's some there. That's nice. Are there any people here who have got a Caritas certificate? Oh, fantastic. There are a couple of people. So, 
All right. There we go. The people in this audience you can talk to. So, Richard, um, you mentioned that the program cost you know, 675 dollars. Um, does the program or CME institute offer scholarships? Yes, we do offer some scholarships at this stage. Well, let me answer this in the first way, okay? For universities, we have a thing called the Caritas Academic Program. So if you are interested in this curriculum, speak to your faculty of finance or business about exploring the Caritas Academic Program. Because that way you can access many of the benefits of Caritas without a cost outside of your university program. And I know that Neil and myself and, and, and Florence were talking to university faculty during the lunch break. So that would be the first thing that I would say. So our scholarship system is through our Caritas Academic Program, if you like. To answer the question directly, we do offer some limited scholarships for Caritas. Those at this stage are for people who work in regulators only. Okay, so we have a regulator scholarship program for all of our programs, and Caritas is included in that. Thank you. Uh, maybe one last question. Uh, how, do you, how if you uh, apply a register for the program, Um, does it come with books or comments like online reviews? And can you take the exam in time, or is there a specific period or duration that's in the program? Okay, uh, there is a specific window from registration to completion is six months. Right, you need to find 100 hours in six months. The exam dates are completely flexible, so you can move your exam date within that six month window. Uh, there is an examination centre in Manila. It offers uh, five sessions, five days a week, so the examination times are very flexible. Um, what comes with the package? It's absolutely excellent. It is, it is all delivered electronically. It has videos. It has an app, which I think is probably the way most people access the materials. I spoke to someone in a client of mine yesterday in Metro Manila. She travels in total to work and back seven hours a day. All right, now, that is more than I travel to work and back each day. And the one comment that I would have is the mobile app is probably very heavily used because people can access the materials in that way while they're on the go. Uh, there are excellent formative assessment tools. There are learning outcome statements, chapter end questionnaires. There are full formative assessment tools. In other words, tests that you can take to check your exam readiness and answers that are explained both why they're right and wrong. So it's a full learning suite. That's a good uh, use of traffic time. Absolutely. You've got seven hours a day. I know where you can find your 100 hours pretty easily. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Mr. Richard. Thank you. Thank you all.